What are the most powerful military vehicles of the Malaysian army? What kind of machines lie in their arsenal? And can they survive against the other militaries? Well, today we'll answer all these questions, exploring the top 10 most powerful military vehicles in the Malaysian army. In this list, we'll include only land vehicles, leaving warships and aircrafts for future contents. But if you want to see other rankings of the strongest military vehicles, well, like and subscribe. And now, let's get started. Number 10. URO VAMTAC The URO VAMTAC is a versatile light tactical vehicle developed by Spain's Eurovisa, designed for a range of military operations. With over 103 units currently in service with the Malaysian Army, it is often compared to the United States Humvee due to its similar four-wheel drive and high mobility features. This vehicle has been used in conflicts in Afghanistan and Syria and is known for its rugged performance and adaptability. The VAMTAC comes in three models, I-3, S-3, and ST-5, each offering different configurations for various roles. Powered by a Steyr turbocharged diesel engine generating around 188 horsepower, it can carry between 3,300 and 4,400 pounds, depending on the model. Its payload can be outfitted with various weapon systems, including the M134D Gatling gun, the M2 Browning Point 50 caliber machine gun, the Mark 19 grenade launcher, and short-range air defense systems like the Eagla or Star Street. Number 9. Mildef Tarantula HMAO the Mildef Tarantula HMAO is a Malaysian-made four-wheel drive, mine-resistant armored personnel carrier designed to transport troops safely across dangerous terrain. Developed by Mildef International Technologies in collaboration with the Science Technology Research Institute for Defense in the Malaysian Armed Forces, it was unveiled on February 11, 2021. With 178 units on order, this vehicle is part of Malaysia's effort to reduce its reliance on foreign-made armored vehicles. The Tarantula offers substantial protection against mines and improvised explosive devices with its V-hull design and composite armor, meeting NATO's Stanag 4, 569, Level 2A for hull protection and Level 2B for belly protection. Powered by a 330-horsepower Caterpillar engine paired with an Allison automatic transmission, it delivers a power-to-weight ratio of 23.57 horsepower per ton, providing good mobility and agility in combat situations. Number 8. Banvan 206 The Banvan 206, or BV206, is a versatile tracked all-terrain carrier developed in Sweden by Hegland & Sonar, later produced by BAE Systems Haglunds. Designed for rugged environments, the BV-206 is composed of two articulated units with all four tracks powered, allowing it to traverse difficult terrains such as snow, mud, and water. Currently, there are 80 units in service with the Malaysian Army. The vehicle can transport up to 17 people, 6 in the front unit and 11 in the rear, and the trailer unit can be customized for various tasks. Weighing around 9,900 pounds, the BV-206 is equipped with a 2.8-liter Ford Cologne V6 engine producing 132 horsepower, allowing it to reach a top speed of 40 miles per hour on roads and 3.1 miles per hour in water. It is armed with a 7.62-millimeter general-purpose machine gun mounted on a ring mount, along with secondary armaments like smoke grenade launchers at the front and mortars at the rear. Number 7. Ader Yalsin The Ader Yalsin is a robust four-wheel drive armored personnel carrier and mine-resistant vehicle developed by Turkey's Neural Machina. Known as Dragon in Turkish, this vehicle is currently in use by the Malaysian Army, with 20 units deployed, including for peacekeeping missions in Lebanon. Designed to handle a wide range of threats on the modern battlefield, the Ader Yalsin is equipped with all-welded steel armor providing protection up to NATO's Stanig 4, 569 Level 4, which shields against armor-piercing rounds and explosions. Powered by a 375-horsepower Cummins diesel engine, 
The Eider Yalsen offers a balance of power and mobility, making it capable of maneuvering across various terrains while carrying heavy loads. Number 6. ACV-300 Adnan The ACV-300 is an amphibious infantry fighting vehicle jointly produced by Turkey and Malaysia. With 267 units currently in service with the Malaysian Army, built locally by DRB HICOM Defense Technologies, the ACV-300 Adnan offers a combination of the capabilities of an infantry fighting vehicle and an armored personnel carrier. Based on the American Advanced Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which is itself derived from the M113A1, the Adnan is designed for both troop transport and battlefield engagement. The vehicle weighs 14 tons and provides protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. It is powered by a Detroit Diesel 6V53T engine, generating 300 horsepower, allowing it to navigate various terrains and amphibious environments effectively. The Adnan is equipped with a 25mm FNSS sharpshooter turret as its main armament, complemented by a 7.62mm machine gun for additional firepower. Number 5. Astros 2 MLRS The Astros 2 artillery saturation rocket system is a powerful 300mm multiple launch rocket system developed by the Brazilian company Avabras with 36 units currently in service with the Malaysian Army. Known for its versatility and modular design, the Astros 2 can launch rockets of varying calibers, ranging from 127 mm to 450 mm, making it capable of engaging a wide array of targets at different ranges. Built on the Tektron VBT 2028 6x6 all-terrain vehicle, which is based on the Mercedes-Benz 2028 truck chassis, the Astros 2 offers enhanced mobility across challenging terrains. Later versions of the system have been mounted on the Tatra 815-7 chassis. The system is powered by a Mercedes OM4 228-cylinder diesel engine, producing 280 horsepower, which ensures reliable performance and mobility in various operational environments. Number 4. Denel G5. The Denel G5 is a 155mm towed howitzer developed by Denel Land Systems in South Africa, with 28 units currently in service with the Malaysian Army. Designed for versatility and effectiveness, the G5 was adapted from the Canadian GC45 155mm gun and modified to perform optimally in Southern African conditions. This artillery piece is known for its reliability, accuracy, and long-range fire capabilities. Manned by a crew of eight soldiers, the G5 fires 155mm high-explosive shells. It features a semi-automatic interrupted screw breech and a split-trail carriage, allowing for stable deployment and firing. The howitzer can traverse up to 82 degrees at lower elevations and 65 degrees at higher elevations, with an elevation range from negative 3 to plus 75 degrees, making it adaptable to various firing positions and terrains. The G5 has a rate of fire of 3 rounds per minute and can achieve a maximum muzzle velocity of 2,943 feet per second. Number 3 K200K IFV the K-200 Korea Infantry Fighting Vehicle is a South Korean armored personnel carrier with 111 units currently in service with the Malaysian Army. Developed by Daewoo Heavy Industries as a modern replacement for older armored vehicles like the M113, the K-200 was designed to improve troop mobility and protection on the battlefield. A total of 2,383 K-200 vehicles were produced between 1985 and 2006 with various configurations to meet different combat requirements. Since 2009, the K-200 has been supplemented by the more advanced K-21 vehicle in the Republic of Korea Armed Forces. Weighing 13.2 tons, the K-200 is crewed by three soldiers and can carry an additional nine passengers. The vehicle is armed with a primary M2.50 caliber machine gun and can also be fitted with a secondary M60 or K12 machine gun for additional firepower. 
Number 2. AV-8 Gampita The AV-8 Gampita is an amphibious multi-role armored vehicle developed by the Malaysian company DEFTEC with assistance from Turkey's FNSS. With 257 units currently in service, the Gampita serves as a versatile platform for the Malaysian Army, built locally in Pahang, Malaysia. The vehicle's design is based on the FNSS PARS, integrating advanced technology and modularity to support various combat roles. This modular design enables it to be fitted with different turrets, weapons, sensors, and communication systems, making it adaptable to a wide range of missions. The AV-8 Gampita comes in 12 variants, including configurations for armored personnel carrier, infantry fighting vehicle, tank destroyer, signals intelligence, and recovery operations. Weighing approximately 66,000 pounds, it is equipped with composite aluminum and steel armor, with additional armor on the front and sides, providing protection up to NATO's Stanag 4, 569, Level 4. Number 1. PT-91M Pendekar The PT-91M Pendekar is a main battle tank produced in Poland, with 48 units currently in service with the Malaysian Army. Developed from the Soviet T-72M1, the PT-91M Pendekar incorporates several upgrades to enhance its performance, protection, and firepower. Designed by the Research and Development Center for Mechanical Appliances and manufactured by Bumar Wabendi, the tank entered service in 1995 and reflects significant Polish innovations over its predecessor. Weighing 45.9 tons, the PT-91M Pendekar is operated by a crew of three and features composite armor with laminated layers on the front and sides. Its protection is further enhanced by Arawa 1 and Arawa 2 explosive reactive armor on the front, sides and top, and it is equipped with steel side anti-cumulative screens. As we conclude our exploration, we hope you've been inspired by the power of these powerful machines. Which one impressed you the most? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see other rankings like this.